The Ferris Wheel Problem by Ruth Cosey, Imani Holyfield, and Mallory Cohen. NP Calculus Section D. Problems 84, 85, 86, and 87. Suppose there is a Ferris wheel that has a radius of 20 meters that stands 7 meters off the ground. The Ferris wheel makes one complete rotation counterclockwise every 30 seconds. First, you want to draw a circle to represent the Ferris wheel and put it on the x and y axes. Draw a picture of the scenario with a person, this can be a stick figure, on a set of x and y axes. Be sure to label the axes. X for horizontal movement and Y for vertical movement. Since the Ferris wheel is 7 meters off the ground, the circle should be 7 meters up from the origin. Now make sure you label 20 meters for the radius and also label the origin with a red dot. Problem 85 says when it appears, 85 says, um, write a set of parametric equations that describes the situation. Remember that you have to deal with the coefficient for t since the rotation or period is 30 seconds. First, we start with a general equation, which is y equals c plus a cosine b theta minus d. Then we change it to parametric form, and we have the x part of the equation, which is x equals c plus a cosine b t minus d. We have that the sinusoidal axis is 0 and that the amplitude A is 20 because the radius is 20 and that's how far the stick figure is moving from the right bound to the center and from the center to the left bound. The B value is the relationship between the degrees rotated and T, the time elapsed in seconds. So in terms of this problem, B would be 30, 360 degrees divided by 30 seconds or 12 seconds per degree. And the phase displacement is zero because we start at a maximum and when the time starts at zero. So the final parametric, parametric equation is x equals 20 cosine 12t. For the second part of the equation, which is the y, we have um, that y equals c plus a sine b with t minus d. The sinusoidal axis is c, which is 27 because you have to add the radius 20 plus how far the ferris wheel is off the ground, which is 7. The amplitude is A, which is 20 because the radius is 20 and that's how far the stick figure is moving from the right bound to the center and from the center to the left bound. And we have the same relationship with the B value of um, 12, sec 12 degrees per second with the phase displacement D um, of 0 because we started a maximum. Now our final y equation is 20 cosine 12t plus 27. Problem 86 says, if you start at 20, 27 when t equals 0, find the coordinates for the location of the seat on the ferris wheel after 12 seconds. The blue arrow represents the man in the ferris wheel who is moving in a counterclockwise um, direction. You would use the x equation 20 cosine 12t from the previous problem and plug in 12 seconds for t. So we have that 12 cosine 12 times 12 is, um, turns out to be negative 16.180. This is your x um, coordinate. Now we do the same thing for the y equation, where y equals 20 sine 12t plus 27. We plug in the 12 um, for the 12 seconds, and we get that the y coordinate is 38.756. So now our coordinates are negative 16.180 and 38.756. Problem 87 says your friend is standing 50 um, meters to the right of the center of the ferris wheel on the ground. Determine the angle of elevation from your friend to you at time t equals 12, and you are the little man in the Ferris wheel at 2027. 20, so first you take a diagonal line and connect it to the little man on the Ferris wheel and the friend at 50, um, 0. Next, you make a straight line from the man to the ground, and that line makes a 90 degree angle with the ground. You bring that over. Now we take the theta to, um, to mark where the um, angle of elevation is, which is where the 
man on the ground looks up to the man on the ferris wheel. In order to find the angle of elevation, um, you need to take um, the base of the triangle, which is um, 50 meters minus the 20 meters from the radius of the that we get from the ferris wheel, which tells us that um, the base of the triangle is 30 meters long. To find the angle of elevation, you need to measure the opposite of the angle of elevation in the um, and adjacent to the angle of elevation. So we have tan of 27, which is opposite, over the adjacent, which is 30, and we get that theta equals 41.987 degrees. Thank you for listening to our project.